The Omega Omega service is a rite of passage that Delta Sigma Theta sorority gives its deceased sorors. It is altogether fitting that we, sorors of Delta Sigma Theta, pause here in a moment of loving tribute to our dear sister. Delta sorors everywhere who have received the sad message are deeply touched and grieved. Our deepest sympathy is extended to the family of soror Angela Twitty Adams. We are born for a higher destiny than that of Earth. There is a realm where the rainbow never fades, where the stars will be spread before us like islands that slumber on the ocean and where the beings that pass before us like shadows will stay in our presence. She is not dead who lives in our hearts, she leaves behind. In those whom she has blessed, she lives a life again and shall live through the years eternal life and grow each day more beautiful as time declares her good forgives the rest, and proves her mortality. Sorors, we gather as a final act of loyal sisterhood to Soror Angela Twitty Adams, who departed this life on September 17th, 2022. Now that her mortal life is ended, we remember with joy the good she leaves behind. what you went through, so he gave you a rest. God's garden must be beautiful, for he only takes the best. Author unknown. The best. Angela Twitty Adams, lovingly called Twitty by some of us, was most certainly the best. I met Angela in the spring of 1981 at Howard University. We were both initiated into the Alpha Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated on the Fortuitous 53 line. Andrew was number 36 and I was number 53, so we really did not have much interaction at that time. However, by our 30th line anniversary in 2011, I had moved back to the DC area. Angela convinced me it was time to become active in the sorority again since our children were grown. So we joined the Potomac Valley Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated together and began to both in and out of the sorority. It was during these times that I learned of her gust for life, her willingness to help others, her commitment to her faith and her leadership qualities. It was Angela who convinced me that we could co-chair the Delta Academy and Gems Young Women's Program after only being in the chapter a year or so. She was the organizer and I was the implementer. We worked very well together. The girls in the group deeply admired her. The staff at the Montgomery County Housing Opportunity Commission relied on her and the members of PVAC loved her. Angela had the ability to be persuasive and positive. When she was asked to help co-chair the PVAC Embody Group for Young Men a few years later with Soror Judy Taylor, she told the then president, I will if Carla will, and of course you know I said yes. <laughs> but not only was she active with PVAC, she also remained very active with planning our celebrations and outings. Her line sisters lovingly remember how generous she was with herself and her knowledge. Angela's, they shared stories of Angela bonding over dogs and Christmas card exchanges. Angela's Christmas cards were known for not only her and her son's signatures, but it also included the dog's name. 
These times were very special to me. We spent a lot of time together traveling to functions and events, often sharing hotel rooms. After a while, Star Wars started treating us like twins. And the funny thing was that we were both actually twins, but not to each other. <laughs> we often talked about how much she and I were alike and how much our twin sisters were alike. She was a beacon of support and comfort when my twin sister passed in 2016. I knew she understood, and she always had the right thing to say to me. However, Angela's first love was her family. She was devoted to them and often spoke of the comings and goings of her sons, sister, nieces, and mother, and of course her dog. I enjoyed listening to and watching her plan her family functions. She spoke of how proud she was of everyone in her family and their uniqueness. Angela will be missed by so many of us. We will miss her smile, her humor, her thoughtfulness, her dedication to her family, sorority, and community. Our deepest condolences to the Tweety Adams family. We pray that your faith in God's ever abundant love will be with you during these difficult times. Soror Angela Tweedy Adams remained true to her sacred word of honor. She loved Delta and its ideals and faithfully attempted to realize them in her daily life. She sought to be compassionate, loving as a sister, tenderhearted and humble-minded. She lived fully and laughed often. She appreciated Earth's beauty. She looked for the best in others and gave the best she had. Her life was an inspiration and her memory will be a benediction. <laughs>
she added to the sum of human joy. And if everyone to whom she offered loving service were to bring a blossom to her grave, she would sleep tonight beneath a wilderness of flowers. The record of a generous life runs like a vine around the memory of this soror. And every sweet, unselfish act is now a perfumed flower. Speech cannot contain our love. There was, there is no gentler soror. Ample, make this bed. Make this bed with awe. In it, wait till judgment break. Excellent the fair. Be its mattress straight. Be its pillow round. Let no sunrise's yellow noise interrupt this ground. There is no death. The stars go down to rise upon some other shore and bright in heaven's jewel crown. They shine forevermore and ever near us, though unseen, the dear immortal spirits tread for all the boundless universe is life. There is no death. Paraphrased from Revelation 21, 1 through 7. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will freely unto her who is a thirst on the fountain of the water of life. She who overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be her God, and she shall be my child. In memoriam, do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep as long as Delta's numbers continue to multiply I shall live on, I will not die. For Delta women who care and give perpetuate my name and so I live. I bid you be brave, my sisters, daring and strong. Hold high the torch and carry on. Do not sit at my grave and cry, I am not there. My spirit in Delta will not die. Why should 
my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion. I know he watches over me. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches. Good morning. My name is Judy Taylor, and as Carla mentioned, Angela Carla and a group of us, Jana, uh, Cheryl, a lot of us for many, many years were the youth committee. And one of the things we did was get together, and once we realized we did a lot of the same things with the young men and young women, we decided to be just that, the youth committee and we did lots of things together. And what more than sorrows, we became friends. We depended on each other in the good times and bad. And when I said, can you give some remarks? I was like, what am I gonna do? I asked, and I said, you know, I'm gonna go back and look at our text. Because especially over the last few years, we did a lot of that. But I went back to the first text I got from Angela, and that was Thanksgiving 2016. Hey, Judy. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And I didn't have that number in my phone, so I said, thanks, same to you. I don't have this number in my phone. 
who am I thankful for to have as a friend? Judy, Angela, and Angela became my friend. We texted each other through the good times and bad, especially during COVID. And whether we had programming or not, we were always consistently programming. Angela was organized, she kept us, when we went up here, she kept us level-headed. We, we texted through Jenna's courtship, marriage, first baby, promotion, announcement of second baby. And all the pictures of everything going on. We texted through Carla's courtship, her marriage, still can, even though she moved to Ohio to help with her mother, we were back and forth. Angela shared the beautiful quilt that she had made for her mother that Brenda did and she helped with. And we saw that, everything going on. Um, in going through all this, I found out both Angela and I were both Episcopalians and we had friends in common, though we went to different churches. So when I had fundraisers, she said, oh, holy comforter, whatever. Yes, I'm gonna help out with that. And the many com commenter, well, the other thing, which maybe everybody doesn't know, we were texting all through our online virtual meetings. <laughs> Lots of commentary. What was good? What was bad? Did they say that? But we were texting back and forth, okay? And they were there for me, okay? Just like Carla said when her sister died. I mean, everybody, it was, you know, when I needed to get fed, and I didn't know I needed to get fed, it was that group who bought food. The first when we came home the first time from the hospital and Cheryl who bought the rest of the food to give me through the rest of the week. We became more than just sorrows, we became very good friends. And we were always texting and always talking about planning and doing things because Angela was meticulous, she really cared about the youth and we were trying to get those programs going. And so, though I was kind of out of things this summer, I kind of realized, wait a minute, Angela's not on all these texts, what's going on? So on August 15th, I said, just checking in with you. I've missed you from our texts and meetings. I know you and you have your hands full uh, trying to take care of you and your mom. Just checking to see if you're okay, mom okay? She texted back. Hey, Judy, love you checking in. You've been through a lot as well. Mom is okay. I'm getting there. We'll explain shortly. So I knew something was up, but I didn't know exactly what. Please know that even though I've been MIA, you're constantly in my thoughts and prayers, a heart and a delta. Angela was a true team player. They say that teamwork makes the dream work. Our teamwork as a United Youth Committee made the dream successful for lots of youth programs. For the family, thank you for sharing her with us. We will miss her and know we love you and we will do things to make sure we honor her presence with us still as we go forward. And again, I hope we can honor Angela by continuing to fulfill the dream. Thank you. As we extinguish the candles representing the fundamental principles and the torch of wisdom, we are also reminded of the nine candles in our beloved Sigma, which represent the nine cardinal virtues of Delta Sigma Theta sorority. These lights are extinguished, symbolizing the passage of our soror into Omega Omega chapter. Let us relight their meaning in our own hearts. This, in the end, is the most fitting tribute to our beloved soror, Angela Twitty Adams. Father, into thy precious keeping, I'm sorry, Father, into thy gracious keeping, 
leave we now our sorrow sleeping. Amen. 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 <laughs> 